Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss three rules of integration. The first rule is exponential rule, the second one logarithmic rule and the third one constant times and integrand rule. Let us start with the exponential rule. Now integration of e x with respect to x is e to the power x plus c which is the constant of integration. Next, integration of e to the power minus x is equal to minus e to the power minus x plus a constant of integration. Now integration of e to the power ax with respect to x we will get 1 by a e to the power ax plus c. These are the three set of rules under exponential rule. Please remember integration of e to the power x with respect to x is e to the power x itself. Integration of e to the power minus x with respect to x is minus e to the power minus x plus a constant of integration. Integration of e to the power ax with respect to x that is uh, integration of e to the power a is a constant here and x is the variable. So we will write down 1 by a e to the power ax plus c. The next rule is logarithmic rule. Now integration of 1 by x with respect to x is equal to log of x plus a constant of integration. Now we have already discussed that integration is the reverse of differentiation. So if you remember in differentiation, derivative with respect to x of log of x is equal to 1 by x. So of course if we integrate back 1 by x with respect to x, we should get log of x. The next rule is constant times and integral rule. Here we have to find integration of a constant times a function or integration of a constant times a variable with respect to the variable. Now integration of constant k times the function f of x with respect to x according to the rule we will write down k. We are taking the constant out and then we will integrate with respect to the uh, to the variable x of the function f of x. So what do we do if we have to find integration of a constant times a function? We take the constant out and we integrate the function with respect to the variable. Let us do some problems in order to understand this rule. The first one we have to find integration of minus x with respect to x. The coefficient of x here is minus 1. We can think of this as integration of minus 1 x with respect to x. Integration of minus x with respect to x we will get minus 1 we are taking the constant out. Integration with respect to x dx. Now integration of the variable x with respect to x here we will apply the power rule. Now what does the power rule says? Integration of x to the power n with respect to x we will get x to the power n plus 1. In the denominator we will write down n plus 1. So here integration of x its power will be 1. Integration of x to the power 1 is equal to in the numerator we will write down x 1 plus 1. Similarly in the denominator we will write down 1 plus 1 plus a constant of integration minus 1 by 1 plus 1 equals to x square plus c. So integration of minus x with respect to x is equal to minus 1 by 2 x square plus c. Next we have to find integration of 2x square with respect to x. What shall we do? We shall take the constant outside then integration with respect to the variable x square with respect to x. Using the power rule, integration of x square with respect to x, we will write in the numerator x to the power 2 plus 1 
in the denominator also we will write 2 plus 1 plus a constant of integration or 2 2 plus 1 equals 3 x to the power 2 plus 1 equals 3 or x cube plus c so integration of 2x square with respect to x is equal to 2 by 3 x cube plus c next integration of 3 x square with respect to x we will take constant 3 outside then we have to integrate x square with respect to x again using the power rule integration of x square with respect to x we will write in the numerator x to the power 2 plus 1 in the denominator we will write down 2 plus 1 plus a constant of integration 2 plus 1 equals 3 x 2 plus 1 equals 3 x cube plus c this can be cancelled out so eventually we will get x cube plus c so in today's video we have learned three rules the first rule is exponential rule next the logarithmic rule and then constant times and integrand rule in the upcoming videos we will discuss the sum and difference rule of integration thank you